I love London. It's a great city. For me, struggling for the power, for the money, for the freedom. Life doesn't give us what we want. It gives us what we become. London is a big, rich town. Some just happen to come from the poorest parts. Legal or illegal, they gotta make it. Let me introduce you to Stephen and the story of Reformation. How did you end up in this criminal world? What was the first step? What was the first experience? I think when I felt a lot of rejection in my earlier life and I had a lot of trauma, you know, I see the first person die uh, spilling his blood onto the pavement as a young child at seven. That was my first experience of death. There were to be many more, but you know, I carried this stuff and it shadowed the world for me. So really I was trying to belong, you know, and I was, was kind of moved towards other lost souls, kind of lost guys in the early years and took a leading role. I was very angry. Would you say that the world we're talking about in the UK can be compared to the world we know from movies in the States? Are there similarities between that and the lifestyle in, in this country? The movies sensationalize it. We know that, right? But there are a lot of elements of truth in this and in this. I mean, it's a paradox that the people that I've known, certainly the real organized criminals who went meteorically up the ranks and was very good at what they've done, they was very family oriented in that way. Can you give us any details about the way the criminal world cooperates with police? The truth is, anyone at any kind of level of any kind of experience in serious crime will be aware of. You know, we knew, you know, and there's been many, many cases after of people you would never ever think of had been in bed with the police for many years. From armed robberies to serious firearm offenses, Stephen was involved. After being sentenced to nearly 20 years in high security prisons, and finally a ghostly encounter with his late aunt, it was time to turn his back on the life as a gang boss. And more importantly, let go of the grudges. Yeah, when you think about you know, the sacrifices that will probably come along with this lifestyle, you don't really think about family, but that, that's one of the biggest things, right? It's a, funny, it's a funny concept because the life is all about family and you're very strongly there for your family and your heart is for your family. But by the very nature of the life that you're living, you can't have your family around you. So you sacrifice that. You sacrifice any normal kind of life. What makes someone like you say, all right, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write this down. Putting it down on paper in a safe, but really, really human and authentic way, not just to purge a lot of the uh, traumas and st stuff that I had from the past, but to really improve as many people as I could out there, to, you know, to really stop them having the intensely painful journey that I had, unnecessarily. Do you enjoy touching lives the way you do now? Absolutely. You know, money, people, places, things, Shem, uh, they come and go. But you know, to me, I can't see any better example of uh, a life journey and a purpose of someone's life here in that they would improve and touch, you know, and empower uh, as many lives as they could. Some fall in love with the money, some fall in love with the action. Most don't even get a chance to go legit. Stephen was lucky and strong enough to make that switch. But there are still many Stevens out there. 